A good GAC isn't just a component. I feel it's an essential spice in the culinary masterpiece that is your audio experience. Much like how the right seasoning can elevate a dish from good to great, a DAC improves the soundscape of your CDs. It could very well transform the ordinary into exceptional. And just like food, every DAC speaks to each of us differently since both music and food are subjective experiences. Today we dive deep into the essence of DAX, exploring why venturing into this rabbit hole isn't just a pursuit of better sound, it's an invitation to redefine your listening experience. Let's get to it. Every CD player will have an internal DAC. Internal DACs and CD players, especially older or entry-level models, often don't deliver the best audio quality. They may do the job decently, but for those that care about sound quality, the internal DAC's performance might leave a bit to be desired. This is where external DACs come into play. They are specifically designed to provide superior sound quality by converting digital audio files, like the ones on a CD, into analog signals with higher precision and less noise. The result is cleaner, crisper, and more dynamic sound. Consider it the bridge between the digital world of ones and zeros and the rich, tangible realm of sound that fills our spaces and touches our souls. How sweet. How lovely. At their core, every DAC shares certain fundamental characteristics, but it's the engineer behind the circuitry who truly brings the music to life. Much like an architect shapes our experience of space, these engineers aren't just technicians. They're artists meticulously crafting the sound signature of each DAC. While the primary goal is always to achieve pristine audio quality, many engineers also strive to infuse their creations with a unique sonic character, a special vibe that sets their DACs apart in a crowded market. This pursuit of auditory excellence is similar to an artist painting a masterpiece, where every stroke contributes to the final captivating image. You mean R. Gilligan painted that masterpiece? Why, it's Him. unbelievable! When choosing a DAC, it's important to consider the types of connections compatible with your CD player and the DAC itself. Most CD players offer digital coaxial or optical outputs, and fortunately, these connections are quite common on external DACs. Despite frequent questions I've received about the audible difference between you know, the two types of cables, I've personally found the distinction to be minimal, if existent at all. So, the good news is that most DACs accommodate both inputs, offering flexibility and peace of mind in your setup, so you can just try it for yourself. When you're in the market for a DAC, paying attention to the supported resolution and sampling rate is very important. These specifications will tell you how well the DAC can convert your digital music into analog signals for your ears to enjoy. The goal is to get as close to the original recording as humanly possible, and a DAC with a high resolution and sampling rate may do just that. So when we're talking about digital audio, resolution is essentially the depth of the audio sample. It's measured in bits. The higher the bit depth, the more detailed the sound. Imagine it like uh, the pixel density on a screen. More pixels mean a clearer, more detailed image. In the case of audio, a higher bit depth means the DAC can more accurately reproduce the nuances and dynamics of the music. It's like the difference between watching a movie in 720p versus 4K. Obviously, the latter gives you a much richer and more immersive experience. Next, we have the sampling rate. This is how many times per second the audio is sampled when being converted from analog to digital or vice versa. It's measured in hertz, and common rates include 44.1 kilohertz, 48, 96, and even 192 and beyond. The sampling rate matters because it determines the range of frequencies that can be accurately reproduced. According to the Nyquist theorem, the sampling rate needs to be at least twice the highest frequency you want to capture. So a 44.1 kilohertz rate, which is what CDs provide, can accurately reproduce frequencies up to 22.05 kilohertz, which covers the entire range of human hearing. Higher rates can capture even more detail, potentially adding, potentially adding to the depth and spatial quality of the sound, though the benefits become less noticeable to the human ear beyond standard audio levels, obviously. So when you're out there looking for a DAC, keep an eye out for the high-res audio logo on the product. It does signify that the device does meet certain standards for high-resolution audio playback. Selecting the right DAC for your CD player doesn't have to be overcomplicated. Unlike the overwhelming comparisons and endless specs and 
uh, all this technical mumbo jumbo, it can cloud your decision making. I'm here to simplify the process with clear, targeted options and facts. My recommendations are based on a balance of cost and value tailored to fit your varying budgets, which, let's be honest, is often the deciding factor for most of us. Get on with it. First up, for those of you who are budget conscious but eager to enhance your sound system without breaking the bank, the SMSL SU-1 is your go-to. Priced at just $79, it does punch well above its weight, offering features like 32-bit 768kHz capability and DSD-512 support, which are rarities in this price bracket. With a versatile set of inputs including coaxial, optical, and USB, it's a significant step up from the DACs typically found in CD players. The use of the AK4493S DAC chip is a smart choice, delivering quality sound without the premium cost. It's a standout option if you're starting to get serious about audio quality but aren't ready to invest heavily, especially in your overall sound if your overall sound system isn't you know, in the high-end category yet. Now, moving on to the second recommendation, we have the Fio K7, which happens to be my personal choice for desktop listening. It sits here on my desktop. Good for you. At $199, the K7 offers exceptional value, featuring not one but dual AK4493S KU DAC chips, paired with dual THX AAA 788 plus amps. This setup ensures a highly refined audio experience, thanks to a six-stage audio circuit that meticulously separates analog and digital sections to minimize crosstalk. With comprehensive connectivity options, including USB, optical, coaxial, and RCA inputs, plus 6.35 millimeter single-ended and 4.4 millimeter balanced outputs, the K7 is versatile enough to accommodate any headphone setup. Its standout feature is the combination of DAC and headphone amplifier performance, making it an excellent addition to any desktop audio system. The K7 is a prime example of how investing a just a bit more can significantly elevate your listening experience, providing clarity, depth, and power that just far exceeds its modest price. The next option is truly a piece of shit. Literally, for those of you who have never explored the shit ecosystem, you definitely should. You can literally build an entire system with their offerings, except for speakers. The shit Modius E-Balance DAC stands out as a top contender, priced at a reasonable $259. It's often hailed as the best in its class for those looking to get serious about their audio setup without breaking the bank. What now? What sets the Modius E apart is its AES input, a feature you'll especially appreciate if you're using higher end audio sources or planning future upgrades to your system. This addition is about future proofing, ensuring your DAC doesn't become the weak link as you enhance other components within your audio chain. Better safe than sorry, that's my motto. On the technical side, the Modius E is equipped with a variety of inputs, including coaxial, optical, AES, and USB, alongside balanced XLR and single ended RCA outputs. This variety means you're well covered regardless of your current or future connectivity needs. While its sample rates and bit depths maxing out at 24 bit and 192 kilohertz might not be the highest on paper, they're more than capable of delivering the high quality audio experience most users are looking for. Powering its performance is the ESS ES9028 DAC chip, a component revered in many high-end audio applications for its ability to produce clear, detailed, and vibrant sound. In essence, the Ship Modius E offers an exceptional balance of features, performance, and price. It's an ideal choice for anyone looking to make a significant upgrade from standard offerings without venturing into the realm of high-end, budget-stretching DACs. That's good shit. Next up, we got the iFi Audio Neo IDSD, a piece of gear that's earned the title of most versatile DAC of 2024 from Crutchfield. Now, this is one device I'm eager to compare directly with the K7 I'm currently using on my desktop, but given my familiarity with iFi's lineup and their reputation for engineering, some of the lowest noise products on the market, I'm confident the Neo IDSD's low distortion is going to be a game changer. IFI prides itself on delivering pristine audio, and this DAC, in my opinion, will be no exception. What makes the Neo IDSD truly stand out is its adaptability. Whether you're looking to amp up your headphone game or need a preamp to refine your home stereo system, this DAC's got you covered. Its design is sleek and versatile, fitting seamlessly into any setup. At its core, the Neo IDSD features a 4-channel 32-bit Burr Brown DAC chip. 
ensuring that the left and right audio channels are processed separately. For those considering it as a dedicated preamp, the Neo IDSD offers both unbalanced RCA and balanced stereo XLR outputs with the flexibility to choose between fixed or variable outputs. This makes it a perfect match for a high-end two-channel stereo setup. Connectivity-wise, it's equipped with USB, coaxial, and optical inputs, along with comprehensive output options, including unbalanced RCA, balanced XLR, a quarter-inch headphone jack, and a balanced 4.4 millimeter headphone output. The Neo IDSD doesn't skimp on format support either, handling everything from PCM up to 32 bit 768 kilohertz, DSD 512, DXD, and even offering Bluetooth decoding with aptX HD, SBC, and AAC. What the fuck did you just say? Just talking about the specs makes me even more excited to try it out. The Hi-Fi Hi Audio Neo IDSD just isn't just impressive on paper, it's shaping up to be a formidable contender in the real world, offering unmatched versatility and quality. At only $7.99, it seems to still maintain plenty of value for the price. All right, let's dive into the grand finale, the crown jewel of my audio setup, the Denifrips Pontus II. This DAC sits comfortably in the higher end-ish tier for me, at least, and with a price tag of two, two grand, it's not just an investment, it's a statement. And believe me, it lives up to every penny. The Pontus 2 actually makes Spotify sound good. I know, I know, it sounds unbelievable, but the Pontus 2 makes it a reality. From the moment you lay eyes on it, the Pontus 2 commands attention. Its exterior has a sleek brushed aluminum finish that screams luxury, but it's not just a pretty face. Inside it houses a technology that's somewhat of a rarity in today's DAC market, R2R, or resistor to resistor digital to analog conversion. Now, for those who are not familiar with R2R, it uses a network of resistors to methodically convert digital signals into the analog sounds we hear, ensuring each step in the sound wave is as accurate and detailed as possible. This method is celebrated for delivering audio that's not just high quality, but true to the original recording. The DAC supports DSD64 DOP across all inputs and DSD1024 on USB and I2S. With PCM playback at 24 bits, 44.148, 88.296, 176.4, 192 for all inputs, and then up to 1536 kHz for USB and I2S. The Pontus 2 is versatile, providing both balanced and unbalanced outputs, dual coaxial inputs, along with USB, optical, and I2S inputs. Additionally, it features a pair of AES EBU inputs. Opting for the Pontus 2 as the centerpiece of my system was a no-brainer. Its ability to render music with such fidelity and warmth is unparalleled. Yes, the investment is significant, but when it comes to Denifrips, you're not just buying a DAC, you're investing in an auditory experience that elevates every note. With the Pontus 2, any digital source you throw at it is handled with complete grace. Denifrips truly knocked it out of the park with this one. I can go on and on and on about this one. However, I have done a full review and I'll provide a link in the description below so you check it out. All right, folks, that wraps up my roundup of the top five DACs to complement your favorite CD player. Of course, the world of DACs is vast and there's a plethora of options out there beyond what I've discussed today. I'll drop some additional recommendations below for those of you who are curious to explore this further. In my view, integrating an external DAC into your audio setup is more than just a tweak. It's a crucial upgrade that can significantly enhance your listening experience, whether you're an audio nut job seeking the utmost in sound quality or simply someone who loves music. The right deck can open up a whole new world. It's not just about hearing more. It's about feeling more, understanding more, and connecting more deeply with the music we love. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to throw a ball at the like button's face. Any other questions? Oh my God! I humbly ask that you subscribe to the channel. We're getting so much closer to our goal of 2024 of 50,000 subscribers. I'm excited to share this journey with all of you. And don't forget to ring the bell to get notified every time new video is born. With all that said and done, I will see you on the next one, friends. Take care and good night.